welcome you here to what's going on youtube it's friday night the work has been put in it's time to kick back and relax well, i don't know about relax but it's time to just enjoy the best evening of the week it's got to be Fridays, brother. It's got to be Fridays. It's Friday Night Fights. Welcome to another night. Another day. Oh, my gosh. The highlight of my week. <laughs> Putting on the virtual boxing gloves. I'm Mike Tyson, by the way. Can you believe it? I'm Iron Mike. And this is great. Coming on here. Getting some fights in with all you guys. And look at this. We're facing Tyson Fury. Tyson versus Tyson. 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 <laughs> Let's see how we do, man. I'm not a good inside fighter. I like to challenge myself. I like to challenge myself using guys that don't really compliment my style. So I'm using Iron Mike Tyson. I'm using Iron Mike. And let's see how we do here. The warm-up fight. The warm-up fight. And I, I'm so busy, man. So busy during the week that I need to have this warm-up fight. You know? To get out the kinks. <laughs> to iron out the kinks. Yeah, that's it. Iron out the kinks, baby. And um, just get the jitters out. Even though I sound... Uh, you know, then I'm in always a uh, pretty uh, right, fun-loving mood. I got the jitters. I got the jitters. You know what's crazy? When I first started doing the streams, I would actually, like, shake a little bit. I was that nervous. Now the shakes are done. The only shakes are the protein shakes. So here we go. We're on, we're on Mike Tyson. Quick spurts. Quick spurts of bomberoonies. Look at that. Look at Tyson again. I'm talking about Mike Tyson. This is awesome. Tyson versus look at look at the height differential. Crazy height height differential. Oh yeah, look at that little fadeaway jab. You didn't think that was in Tyson's arsenal? You know Tyson kind of goes from side to side like that. Oh whoa, oh whoa, whoa, look at that. Oh oh that hurt. That hurt. Wow, that hurt too, this reach. Oh, thanks for the sub, brother. It's, um... Oh, look at this! What? Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Tyson. Oh. Oh, look at this! I am my Tyson! Remember, uh... What was his name? Oh, my gosh. At WrestleMania. I haven't looked at the comments, but he said after he punched uh, Shawn Michaels, Tyson, Tyson, Tyson. Not Jerry the King Lawler, man. My mind's hit a blank. For all you wrestling fans, let me know. Uh-oh. Look at this, thanks for the sub. I kind of like this style, actually. This is um, not me, but this soon may be me, just kind of... You know, get the the rounded punches in, hooks, uppercuts. I haven't really thrown many straights. Oh, just one and done. Oh, 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 oh. We gotta watch out for Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King. <laughs> this is a calf, by the way, but <laughs> Gypsy King. Don't let his uh, body type deceive you. Isn't that so true? What a deceiving body type. He moves so well, and he's so quick, and he doesn't look like he's got anything going. You know, he doesn't look like he's an athletic guy until you actually face him. I love watching Tyson Fury. No, I have nothing bad to say about him. Well, I gotta check out the chat. We got Shadow, Jason, hey Ricky, what's going on? What's up, man? War Pappy, you owe me a big, you owe me a fight, big boy. How are you doing? Captain Fordo is here. Diego Flores, John Turner, Jer Bowen, Gloom Archie, The Joker, Aaron Bridges, Big Van World. Happy Friday, Aaron. Eric Irving's here too. B Floored. Wow. Oh. Thanks so much for being here, man. 
what you get when you have a good I appreciate you guys coming by. <sighs> looks like... Looks like... Oh, man. Fury is so slow. This cap. And he's still landing shots. It's the reach. Oh, but Tyson with a nice little hooker. Ty, Ty, <laughs> that was a, a right hand hook right there. Another one. Another hooker, Rooney. Oh, oh, that was a big bomb. I put uh, the power mod. Oh, put the power modifier in that. Missed just by a bit. Man, the reach disadvantage is killing me here. I'm swatting flies like it's uh, <laughs> Karate Kid. Remember that scene? Mr. Miyagi was catching flies with chopsticks. Daniel Sun came in, did it on his first try. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite childhood movies. Rest in peace to Mr. Miyagi. Love that guy. You know what's crazy, Mr. Miyagi? He was a comedian before that role. And then people were like, how did he get that role? And he rocked it too. I'm telling you, he was one of my favorite, I would say, Childhood dads. <laughs> Nothing but love for Miyagi. If you're wondering, probably not wondering, but I'm going to tell you anyway. My favorite Karate Kid movies got to be Karate Kid Part 1. And then I have to say, coming in number sec, there were three with Daniel and Miyagi. My second favorite was Karate Kid 3. And then Karate Kid 2. I like the tournament. I like uh -oh. I like the tournament when they have the tournament at the end of the movie. They had it in one and three. I won't ruin it for you, but there goes the bell. There goes the bell. Eric says, I hope we get to fight. Will Smooth is in the house. Do a hitman's here. We ever gonna do UFC three? That's a good idea. You know what I was thinking? Do a hitman? Uh one day, I don't know what you guys think, but I'll have you guys you know, enter on the wheel, and if it lands on you, you could fight me in UFC 3, UFC 4, Fight Night, or WWE. That'd be kind of cool. What's up, Billy? What's up, Billy? said, do you watch Cobra Kai? Of course I do, man. Oh, I love it. Love Cobra Kai. You know what's crazy in Cobra Kai? I'm kind of siding with Johnny Lawrence. I can't believe it, man. What's up to RJ the Hoodlum? RJ the Hoodlum, I got, let me tell you this story, man. RJ the Hoodlum, who I have a lot of respect for, man. He um, wanted to fight me again on stream. And I don't know what happened. I think RJ was partying a little too much the night before. But he fell asleep. RJ the Hoodlum fell asleep during last week's stream. And he missed the stream entirely. And he came by right when it ended. Like after it ended. And he's like, what did I miss? I'm like, dude, you missed the whole thing. I gotta get inside here, but that's too funny. Now RJ sent me a message. He's like, I'm not missing it this time around. Got a feel for RJ, man. He's probably busy at work, man. Okay, I gotta... Oh, man, this... Fury calf is... Making... See, it's making Tyson miss, which is worrying me a bit. I feel like I gotta go to that body. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Okay. Reset things. A headshot block. Every stream, I always kind of gas that in the first fight, so I'm kind of mindful of that. Be mindful of that, brother. Wow. Getting touched a little too much. Oh, but look at this. Oh, no. Looks like he was going to give me a suplex. Look at Tyson. This is like the training session. Oh, saved by the bell. Saved by the bell. What's up, Killian? Hey, Ricky, yeah, on WWE, I made a Pride FC rig. No way. I'd love if it picked WWE and, yeah, 10 ways this Sunday. Part of my French. Do a Hitman. I'm sure you would, but that would be kind of cool, though. 
you know, forget about winning or losing. I feel like for sheer entertainment, that would be awesome. Because if it lands on Do a Hitman, he would say like, I want to fight you inside the wrestling ring. And then, if you guys have been following my videos, I'm not very good. <laughs> and I think that'd be so cool. I think that'd be so cool. Uh. Well, point and click is going on a date. Wishing you the best. Wishing you the best. Sometimes it can work against you. You don't want to become complacent. No, we've seen that many times where all of a sudden you think that the fight's over. Okay, we're putting um, together a good little start. Good little start. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm jinxing it. I'm jinxing it. Everything was looking good. I always do that. Telling you, this reach that he has, hard. What is it, 6'8 versus 5'10? 80 inch reach versus what, 72? 73? What is he, 84 inch reach? We're doing a decent job, though, at the damage aspect. Wow, these rounds just... Oh, oh, oh! Up high, down low. I like that. Two-piece or up high and then working that body. It's like we're working the heavy bag, isn't it? <laughs> it's, like, it's like we're working the heavy bag. Oh man. He doesn't like this. He doesn't like this. Uh oh, I gotta watch out for our stamina. Oh. Wow, he ate two punches, swayed back, and looked to counter. That's a warrior. Oh. Tried the big power shot. Tried the big power shot. Did that work? Get him on. Get under those elbows. Thanks, Nessie. What's up, Nam? Oh, Ricky, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my butt. What's up, Pugs? I never really knew how tall Tyson Fury is, but seeing him next to the calf really shows. Yeah. How, what is he? Six seven, six eight. And Iron Mike is what? Five ten. Hit him with the power uppercuts. Left hooker. Cut to the side of the head should daze him. Wait, power uppercut. All right. And RJ the hoodlum, man, even though he kind of fell asleep last week, he is far from uh, a sleeper pick, man. This, this guy is an amazing player at this game. I'm so happy he's here. So happy you're here, man. So happy you're here. This is the start to the round he wanted to have coming off a round where he was clearly damaged. Oh, bing, bing. Oh, 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 oh. Push him off. <laughs> Beating him the right. Don't want to gas myself out, though. Punch in the leather, right? Gotta continue to pace yourself. A precise hook by Tyson, he showed us. And you see what he can do oh. when he sends that right to the head. Forcing the Gypsy King to, to backdash, but he's eating those punches as well. Iron Mike with a big uppercut. Seeing uh, Tyson Fury against Wilder, man. Holy Good cow. That last fight. That was the best heavyweight fight I've ever seen, man. Right I gotta say, you just didn't know who was gonna take it. It was awesome. Just when you thought one guy was in control, the other guy drops. Remember that? A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Got to be careful stepping forward with hooks. Oh, there was a big shot. Oh, there's the... Um, you see that? That's the RJ the Hoodlum combo. I'm telling you, RJ the Hoodlum. Oh, man. He gives really good uh, tips. 
I got clocked there. I had to reset. Oh, oh no! Saved by the bell! Saved by the bell! Saved by the bell! This is a good fight, man. This is a good fight. I don't know if you guys caught the last stream, but my first fight in the last stream... Holy smokes, man, we went to a draw. And, like, I've never seen a draw, ever. Oh, what's up, John Turner? I don't know. You want to win at Ricky the Champ jab, hook, low hook, uppercut. Man, sometimes it's hard to remember all that. Jab, hook, low hook, uppercut. All right. I made Kane in Fight Night Champion? Oh, my gosh, Mateo Garza. Undertaker versus Kane. Mateo Garza. You will rest in peace. I love, I love that combo. RJ the hoodlum. You would think he would give me bad advice. But he gives me the best advice. I love that. Up, rear uppercut, lead hook. I want to telegraph it, but see, the amazing reach of Tyson Fury still getting me caught here. Teddy, what would you recommend and his head movement. See that? Well, two Gotta go to that body. No, no. Actually, I would say Even though there's some meat down, down there. The Gotta pound the meat. <laughs> that was a bad analogy. <laughs> Terrible analogy, but you know what I'm saying. Why the crowd? The crowd, how could you boo at this? How can you boo at this? Wow, Fury could just take a punch and just iron Mike with an iron right. fire right back. This is nuts. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Wow, I need it's got sting on those punches, man. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Wow. Nice work with the jab by Ferocious. Come on. He took a gotta be a little bit quicker. One of his own, a left hand scores. South Paul right jab. Oh, that's a good four piecer. Went bled right through the block. Oh, Oh, man. What's up, Waffle? Doug. Waffle says, give them what they came for. Yeah, you got to tenderize them. <laughs> That's pretty funny, man. Bilal says, Ricky J Sports stream. Yeah. Any chance to see you on games like UFC or even wrestling games? For sure, man. For sure. I, I was thinking of doing a stream where you get to pick. You get to pick what game you want to play me in. That would be pretty awesome. Potential XP saying, watch your stamina. Mario saying, what about UFC? Sure, we could do that, man. We could do that. Oh, I got to watch my stamina. Look at that stamina. I'm going to try to be a little bit more accurate. Oh, look at this. Yes. Quality, not quantity. Not like my jokes, man. I've said this before. <laughs> my brother says my jokes are quantity, not quality. <laughs> that was pretty quality. Is he going to get up? Wow, the heart of the Gypsy King. Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened there? Oh, no. I went in for a shot in that head movement. That head movement. I gotta take the eight count. I gotta clear the cobwebs. <laughs> That's just... Okay, I'll get up at eight. Oh my gosh. There's always drama, people. There's always drama. Always drama. So I went with a big bomb. That's why I don't throw a lot of power bombs. I'm not talking about wrestling, but you know what I mean. Power shots. Oh man. Remember, this fight was going against him. Now a good rally by him. Some of that. Yeah, what a rally. Even when he was losing the rounds, that body work, it's starting to pay dividends. 
Well, I'm scared to throw a punch, to be honest. Scared to throw a punch. Oh, no! It could be over! The wheels have fallen off! Oh my gosh, the wheels have fallen off. I'm not throwing any more punches. I'm not throwing any more punches. I'm not throwing any more punches unless Fury is exhausted. Oh my goodness. The drama. This is not scripted. We were taking him to town. And then all of a sudden, the wheels have fallen off. And we are just surviving. What madness is going on? I'm telling you, I'm just going to get in my shell for a little bit. Maybe even take the eighth round off. I know you may think that's silly. My, my girl's screaming at me. Oh my goodness. Mateo Garza shaking his head. Brawl. Doesn't know what happened, man. RJ's not impressed, shaking his head at home. I lost the stamina game, War Poppy said. I was getting too carried away. Oh, man. I can still win it. I'm, I'm scared to throw a punch. Okay, look, if we could just survive these next three rounds, we could win this. It's been a tough night. Yeah, and it's also clear to see that yeah, keep on throwing punches. Has a chance to come back because he has He's got that reach. Oh, but Tyson throws the right. And I'm telling you, that was the safest thing to do. Just counter shot. Throw one punch. Oh, man. Now is Fury going to get up? Is he getting up? Stay down, my friend. Stay down. No, don't. He gets up at nine. No. I still have to be mindful, though, that we have the eggs scrambled. Like our eggs. I'm not throwing a lot of punches here. Are we winning the round? We're at Cowboy Stadium, by the way. 90,000 plus. Look at all the fans. But I'm not throwing anything. There. Just a nice little touch. Nice little touch. Here's RJ. What's up? On uh, I didn't read RJ's message too in too much detail, but apparently he got suspended online. Oh man! Oh man! It's like we can't block anymore. This is. I can't touch this guy. <laughs> He's too tall. He's too long. <laughs> Win or lose, this first fight has checked the boxes. You know? When it's gone a fair bit here. And we have to we have to overcome some adversity. Lots of adversity. Even though we only threw like maybe what ten punches this round, we may we're gonna get it though, right? We we're gonna get it. Yes. What a good war this Mateo saying to counter. You don't get tired by using head movement. You don't get tired. Okay, lean back and hit him with the uppercut when you get close. That's your only hope. Okay. What's up, Muhammad Ali? Put me on the wheel. You, me, middleweight. Eric Irving only went three rounds when I used Sugar Ray Robinson when he fought. Much love to Muhammad Ali, man. Generation Loss is in the house. I'm telling you, Generation Loss, a lot of respect for that guy. Even though he's a UFC guy, he always comes back and enjoys these box extremes. And <laughs> these streams are so fun, man. And I appreciate you guys coming here, man. Let's see if we can... Oh, steal a dub here. There's a hole in the boat. And we're trying to <laughs> get the water out. We don't want to drown. <laughs> That's a terrible analogy, but you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go with just jabs and straights because you're not kind of out of position. 
see that? I'm just going with jabs and straights. Ferocious's work rate is impressive, Teddy, but his connect percentage is see that. I'll go with the hook, but he's so good at swaying back. Oh, see, yeah, when you miss, you're able to recover with jabs and straights a little bit better than hooks and uppercuts. Kind of falling back to my more traditional style of virtual boxing. You know? I think this is the smart way to go. It's not going to impress the fans. Maybe it'll impress the, the people that know what I'm trying to do. Just trying to... Oh, look at this! Shot to the... Oh! Get him! Shot to the jewels, didn't get it. <laughs> oh, he told me to take a step back. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good way to bring it back with the left. Anything can happen with these heavyweights. All right, all right. That's good, that's good. I think we got him. Mateo thinks we got him. Doug, almost 200 watching and only 52 likes. Come on, people. Thank you so much, Doug Roberts. I appreciate the love, man. You know, I never force people to uh, hit the like button. You do what you want. It's a free world, brother. <laughs> but thank you so much, Doug. So we're off to the 10th. Who would have thought? Didn't we drop him in the first? We dropped this guy in the first. Nice. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, this could be done. This could be done. This could be done. Thanks, Mario. Thanks, John. Oh, yes. I don't think he's going to get up here. Here we go. Tyson Fury. Well, if he gets up again. What is this guy? Who is this guy? I've knocked him down so many times. This is a legend. Being mindful though, we banked the round. Oh, look at this, here we go again. Oh, it's gotta be over now. It's gotta be over now. Oh, oh my goodness. What, a oh, look at him, he's getting up again. Never say die. He oh, <laughs> knees kind of buckle. Oh, that was too much fun. We got knocked down twice. I don't know what round it was. Man, but we managed to survive. Took a little. Uh, gotta say, man, we took a little uh, game planning. We were joking around, messing around. Talking to the chat, laughing, and then the wheels fell off, and then we had to get the wrench and put them back on. Yeah, it was the seventh. It was the seventh. Oh, man. Gloom, thanks for being here, man. John says, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Two piece and a biscuit. But to my um, credit, I, I like how I came back in the eighth after getting humiliated in the seventh. And then we got the win in the tenth. Winner by KO. What is, what's up, Generation Loss? All right. I can't wait to hear what he has to say, by the way. But let me, um, hmm, let me get some, yeah, some little hyped up music here. After that crazy fight. Like I said, that um, match checked all the boxes. You know, adversity, longevity, had to use different counters, straights, uppercuts, hooks, had to do it all. And um, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> it never is pretty when I win, but got the dub. And now we're gonna check out. We're gonna check out the wheel from last week. And if you're new to this, how this all works, you know, I put your name on the wheel. Here, let me go over here. You don't have to be subscribed. You don't have to be a member. 
You just have to be a viewer. You just have to be a viewer hanging out here with us. And man, we get to do a fun little fight. And you get to pick the weight class. And it's on Xbox. It's on Xbox, okay? So just let me know if you want to play. And we always have a good time. I'm opening it up. I'm opening up a bubbly. It's um sparkling water beverage. This is blackberry bubbly. Very, very good. Zero Are you calories. Or oh no, who's in talks get Travis Simmons? 20 bucks! Oh my gosh, thank you very much. Oh man, you didn't have to do that, man. Thank you so much to Travis Simmons for the $20 donation, man. All the best to you, man. That's so awesome. <laughs> oh, man. That's a great way to get started. I really appreciate that. Big Daddy Travis, thank you very much. Holy cow. So let's, uh, I don't know if Travis wants to get on the wheel, but if any of you guys want to get on the wheel, let me know. I know Do A Hitman wants in. War Poppy, RJ the Hoodlum, Muhammad Ali, Mateo Garza. We had an epic battle last time. What's up, Iron Man? We got Wes McKay. What happened? What happened, RJ? He says, I need help. What happened? The timing. Are you intoxicated? <laughs> That's so amazing. j -Mac. Thanks again, uh... Mr. Simmons, holy cow. No, I don't have an Xbox. Oh no, you don't have an Xbox? Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, oh no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, do a Hitman. What did we, um... Oh, that was on UFC. Yeah, 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 that was on UFC. We got Will Smooth. Will, I don't know if you guys remember, but Will Smooth, what was it, like three weeks or so? Um, he put me to town in this game. So glad he's back. I want to see Muhammad Ali fight you. Has been begging for it. Yeah, we fought, I don't know what, three or four times? Damn, I wish I had a system to play. What's up, Nam Chomsky? Put me on. Oh, the Funkasaurus. The Funkasaurus. Oh, yes. See, I'm, oh, sorry. I, I made a mistake there. Made a mistake with the, the spelling. You guys get upset when I make those spelling mistakes. Okay, if I didn't put your name... Oh, there's Big Van World. Big Van... Was it 31? Oh, man, I missed it. Where's Big Van? There it is. Big Van 31. Ricky, do you know what settings I need to mess with to let me play online? Okay, so, RJ, all you got to do is find an old EA Sports game. Um, you know that SSX snowboarding game? It's actually a good game. But um, log in and accept all the terms and conditions, then pop the game out, put in Fight Night Champion, and you're in, brother. You're in. Look at Loser Sheens, who I refuse to call him by his first name. Should be Winner Sheens. What's up, Sheens? How are you, man? I wish I still had my Xbox One. I got Sega on Xbox 360. Nice. Invite Marshall Mind. That's awesome, man. Love Marshall Mind. He is just um, such a he's one guy I really look up to and admire. Such a cool guy, man. But that would be cool if he came in. <laughs> you know what's so funny? He's so smart. He's so good at thinking on the fly that I think I would be eating canvas. I'd be eating canvas for sure. <laughs> well, it'd be a lot of fun. We got I'm a pirate. And I'm a pirate also took me to town a while ago. Remember that I'm a pirate? We had a good match up uh oh big van's not gonna be happy i'm getting into his uh <laughs> his name right there <laughs> oh what's Are up cushman oh my, how can i forget cushman hiccups thank you so much for the donation oh my gosh how can i remember or how can i forget thank you so much cushman prioxis whooped me in ufc oh boy prioxis is another one you know, you got to say with Prioxis, that guy could pick up any game and he's like the best. In it. I was watching him. So funny. Sometimes I'll watch people. I won't comment because I'm about to, you know, hit the hay, go to bed. But I was watching him play like Halo and he just picked it up and he was like number one on the leaderboards. And I'm like, how does this guy do it? How does this guy like just become amazing at these games? And then he picked up WWE. 
And he's kicking butt and taking names in that too. It's just so natural when it comes to gaming, man. So much love to him as well. <sighs> All right. Look up VR Diablo. He's hilarious and pretty good at UFC. Okay, that's cool. Thanks, Antonio. Hopefully those cam girls don't jinx it, Eric. I'm not going to read your comment. That was actually really funny, man. That was actually really funny. I won't get into it. So I haven't played Fight Night in a hot minute, but I still got this. Oh, for sure you do. For sure you do. I'm still trying a different account. Yeah, put in an old EA game, even if you have like NHL or NBA, an old NBA live game. I'll check out VR for sure. What's his name is VR? Oh man, I'll go back. I'll go back and check it. VR Diablo. Okay, I'll just think of the old PC game Diablo. Yo, Ricky, I just started watching you like a week ago. Um, I my first video I watch is when you beat Ali with Butterbeat. That's so crazy. Thank you so much for being here. You know, um, I know have no expectation when I make videos, man. This is just a hobby. This is not um a job for me, man. This is just a fun hobby. And when I made that video, you know, I said to myself, I'm like, should I make a third attempt of trying to beat Muhammad Ali because he is just amazing in this game so you know what I made that video and that video has um, 2.7 million views so if you're a content creator and you're second guessing yourself about a video think of my uh, little story here just do it man just do it you should do a live stream so we PlayStation guys can fight you too that's a good idea Mario you know what? That is a very good idea. Are you about to fight RJ? We're going to spin the wheel. Add me, Chief. Oh, oh, Miko Cervello. In my opinion, Miko Cervello is the best pressure boxer uh, that I've ever seen. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. When's the next W2K video dropping? Probably on um, <clears throat> Sunday or Monday for sure, man. What's up, are more you, Mills? Somebody are else is ta intoxicated. Noah Lewis. Noah Lewis, thank you very much. I'm putting Lewis on. Big Daddy Noah, thank you very much. How long till another fight? We're going to do it right now. Graybush is like, stop stalling, Ricky. Get it going. Thank you so much again, Noah Lewis, for the donation. Alex is saying, spin the wheel. All right, here we go, people. What was your res What? Wait, wait, wait. Generation Law says, you haven't seen my response to guess what? Um, okay, try four or five. I got my, wow, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu blue belt. Dude, you know, I thought you were a keyboard warrior, but you're a legend. Wow. Hey, much respect to Generation Lost. Holy smokes, man. That's not easy to do. Congrats, my friend. Congrats. All right, here we go. Here we go. We are pausing the music. You guys are getting antsy. Wherever you are, once again, I want to just tell you, man, all joking aside, thank you so much for being here. Love you guys, wherever you're from. Here we go. Let's see who's first. Good luck and all the best, man, except when we fight. <laughs> here we go. Look at that. It's meant to be. RJ the Hoodlum, where you at? Where you at, RJ? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and somebody else is intoxicated. What madness is going on tonight? What madness is going on tonight? It's Noah Lewis again. Thank you so much for the five, my friend. Oh my gosh. RJ, this is so cool. Oh man, that's so cool. For all you guys that don't know, I'm going to give you the backstory. What's up, Davian? Um, I faced RJ the hoodlum two weeks ago and um, it was a very good technical boxing match and you know what I'm too old to um, <laughs> what's the word <laughs> hang on to my pride I was getting pieced up man I gotta say I was getting pieced up pretty badly and RJ was well on his way to winning a boxing match putting on a performance that um, you really got to respect right so we kept on going through the later rounds and I don't know what happened I hit him with a little shift to the left, straight up the middle, and down he went. And um, the virtual referee called the fight off. 
And I was celebrating like Michael Bisbing against uh, <laughs> Luke Rockhold the second time. I couldn't believe I won. And if you look at the, um, if you go back, it was two streams ago. RJ um, was totally winning the fight and I just won by lucky punch. Oh, what is he saying? I can't fight. Y'all, it won't let me in. No. So RJ, this is what I'm going to do for you. You're going to try to fix it now. Okay. And when you get it fixed, let me know. And whatever break we have, you can just jump in and fight, okay, brother? Because that is just unfortunate. So try to get it to work and let me know, man. And if you don't get it fixed in this stream, next week you will be my first fight, all right, my friend? Because I don't want to let you down. I don't want to let you down. It's hard to get on this. Uh, it's hard, hard to win these wheels, right? So try. But we're going to spin it again. If RJ gets it working we'll face rj when there's a break in the action if he doesn't he has a week to fix things and we will fight next week all right rj hoodlum give me the fight that owes me one he promised oh yeah war poppy all right yeah we'll do that for sure the wheel is rigged okay wait is eric on the wheel? is eric on the wheel where's eric eric do you want is eric i don't know even know if eric is uh I don't know if Eric wants to be on the wheel or not. You know what we're gonna do too? You're on? Okay, what we're gonna, yeah, let, I gotta go chat. Oh, it's 2.19 in the morning. Good night, enjoy the stream. No problem. You know what we're gonna do for the people that are here that don't have the game, okay? I'm gonna try something here just to switch things up. If you wanna be put on the wheel, let me know and if it lands on you you can suggest or not suggest you could choose who i fight just to get everybody involved all right so more mills if you or anybody have a great night yeah mario if you want to be put on the wheel if it lands on you you could kind of gift the fight to somebody if you know somebody or a lot of people talk about muhammad ali a lot of people talk about war poppy Kick RJ off the wheel. Thank you so much. Yeah, he's already in. I love that. Panzer Ace. That's a great idea. So we're going to put Nom. I'm going to put Nom in there. And then he can kind of gift if it lands on him. Okay, this will add a little more, you know, a little more, you know, I don't know what the word is, brother. It's a live stream, but a little more kind of spunk to it. We got dad's gone. <laughs> dad's gone. Let's party. <laughs> um, but I think this is kind of cool because there's some people, and this is how I would be. I would just love to watch, but I would love to interact and be on the, the wheel, but I don't want to play. You know, that is very cool. Put me on. Okay, Nessie. And there's a lot of you guys that have been here for so long. These streams, you guys know the cast of characters that are in the chat. Um, so you could just say, I want to see this person fight this person or this person fight me. You know what I mean? We got cash. This is cool, man. Now we got more people. Um, if I get, I want war poppy. Oh, that's awesome. I don't have a console, but I'll gladly pick someone. Okay. So I got Nessie in there. Um, let me beg, bro. That's from the ultimate fighter. I just want to beg, man. Let me beg. <laughs> Wasn't riddle in the middle of that. Choose me guys or the king. I know I'm. Excited for um, Kane versus The Undertaker. Wait, do I have Will in there? Um, where's Will? Will, um, holy cow, he put me to town, man. He pieced me up. <laughs> he pieced me up. <laughs> holy cow. Okay, so let's see here. Austin. I apologize if I don't have any, if I have every, if I don't get ev everybody in. Um, Planet Rugulus. Okay, we ready? Lovely to see everyone participating, even without having the game. Yeah, I feel like this is good. Yeah, I'm on there. Okay, can I get on the list? Yes. I feel like we're at a club. Johnny. <laughs> Johnny gonna... That could be... Uh, is that somebody's uh, created <laughs> created account? Come on. <laughs> Don't do it. Sir, sir. All right, I think we're good. Smash the like button. Thanks, Antonio. <laughs> And thanks for the sub, whoever that was. This will be interesting. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's spin it. 
Ricky has IT for for YouTube. <laughs> no created accounts. I know. If we see a created account, you're done. And we got Ben. What's up, Ben Spencer? What a fight we had last time, man. What's up, Koga? Ricky, now the person cho choosing will be rooting for the other guy and not you. That's okay, man. That's okay. All right, here we go. All right. Here we go. We got a lot of people that want War Poppy in. A lot of people that want Garza in because he's got that calf. I can't wait to see who else. Muhammad Ali. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. <laughs> Oh, it's, is it Miko Cervello? Is it? It's Miko Cervello! Oh my gosh, Miko. And for all you people that have forgotten Miko Cervello, he had this crazy calf that basically murdered me. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> and let's see who he comes up with now. This is gonna be... This is gonna be tough, man. This is gonna be tough. If there's one guy that I'm scared of the most, uh, no disrespect to any of you guys, but it's Miko Cervello. Also Will Smooth, but Miko, <laughs> Miko Cervello is just a monster. <laughs> Where is he? Please don't tell me he's gone. Where's my good friend Miko? It's okay, Ricky, you got this. I'm lightheaded from how much I'm screaming at the screen. Pick me, please pick me. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, look at this. Panzer Ace says, enjoy the live streams on Friday. They are chill and help to unwind after a long week. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Panzer Ace. I really appreciate that, man. It was him or Ali are if I would have chosen. Almost you, Clav. I thought it was. Because Ricky said that you guys go try hard on him. Oh, there's Miko's coming. Thanks again, Panzer. Oh, man. So I think Miko and I... Oh, there's Cervello. Oh, Cervello, what weight class do you want? What, what weight class does Cervello want? Let's see what weight class he picks. <laughs> Dad's gone, says it's time to box. Well, you're going to see a guy with ultimate skill and Miko Cervello. I can choose. I may, uh, I may go with, uh, my boy, uh, <laughs> Ryan Garcia. <laughs> I think I will. Two minutes. Here we go. Where is Ryan Garcia? Look at Conor McGregor, Bieber. There's Ryan Garcia. Pick them light, boys. Look at this, Eminem. Lomachenko. Much love to Lomachenko fighting for his country, man. Crazy. Manny Pacquiao. Okay. So he's going with Pernell Whitaker. I'm going with Ryan Garcia, 93 versus 94. This is very, very fair. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm legit terrified of Cervello. I'm terrified. The last time we fought, it was scary. It was vicious. And I remember after, man, I was getting nightmares. Miku Cervello created like this alien character and he called it Ricky J's worst nightmare. And I was getting nightmares of this guy and what a fantastic record, man. 108 and 68, that is a beautiful record. Oh man, I don't know about that, Whimpers. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Here we go. Touch him up and let's go. All right. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. You got this one. The flash is scouting report is an easy one to read. Three letters. 
J-A-B. Yes, sir. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's jabbing in his way. And I don't Gotta use our walking. speed. Yeah, I mean throwing that swift lead hand out into his opponent's face all night long. Nice oh. defense. Good block by Pernell Whitaker. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Teddy, the expectation in a matchup like this, a power puncher versus power puncher, is that the fight's not going to last. He's so good at, at um, pressuring, the too. Less power is going to win because he's a guy that has a reserve, a reserve in a place that he's ready to go to in case the power is not there. Halfway through round number one. And a good solid oh, one-two combo by telling you. Keep your distance. Oh, he's going with the big bombs, too. Able to dismiss it. He's got to keep on moving around. He's so good at cutting off the ring. Cervello surveying the situation. You like that? Nice. Stabbing right hand by Pernell Whitaker. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Ten clicks of the talk. Solid left hand to the head. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right, all right. All right, War Poppy says everyone knows War Poppy has the biggest arms in Australia, undefeated, undisputed, never been hit, never lost a round, the king of kangaroos, so you better watch out when he's coming for you. That was very well done. What's up, Juice World? That is so cool. Is that Chael Sonnen? Is War Poppy Chael Sonnen? Alex says good round. This guy is beating shit out of you. He's the baddest and the meanest. <laughs> That's War Poppy. Thank you so much, Cash. That was RJ's round. We got we got nine more to go. Well, look at that nice stamina. Here we go. Round two is underway. I shake it off. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Gotta watch out, man. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. He's trying to bait me in. Again, I don't want to be standing in the pocket with Cervello. He's a beast. Of the game quick hands too three ways to defend one of them is to block he did it there well halfway through round number two Whitaker's put forth a little boom 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 a three punch oh, boom 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 action he's trying to lure me in Whitaker's able to avoid that punch. wow so quick a little head knocking with that right hand took a shot now he gives a left Gotta watch out. <laughs> Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body. When he get when Cervello gets into that little shell, man, you just don't know when he's gonna erupt. You don't know when he's gonna erupt. Trying to get his opponent to walk in where he can make a miss and bang, spring it on. Nice exchange. Look at that. Five piece action. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Nice. Oh, interesting round. round Alex, stop giving him tips. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Uh, Ricky, when will you play PlayStation again? Oh, man. Soon, man. Soon, Juice World. I'm loving this Xbox Series S, but yeah, I will be hopping back over. He's observing and learning each time. 
Keep your head on a swivel. I know. You know it's crazy? I'm already getting dizzy, man. I don't know. Sometimes this game will make me dizzy. I call it the spin cycle. How about our stand? And round not bad. number three is underway. Sweet Pea's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. And you see what he can do when he sends that right Looking to, the to head. load up on that right hand. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. That is a big Look right that. hand after eating one himself. He's got us stuck in the corner. Look at this. Combination up top. Gets rid of that body shot. That's good. That's good that he stopped. Stop pressuring us in the corner. Look at those hands by Cervello. That's a solid right hand by Pernell Whitaker. Sidestepping. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Gotta watch out for that sidestep. Oh, and a two-punch combo by Pernell Whitaker. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. A little pop and run. Garcia is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Sweet piece, sweet block. Oh, good little ending to the round. <laughs> good little ending to the round. <laughs> <sighs> Mateo wants a knockout already. He wants a knockout already. Oh. Cassius Clay says, I want to piece you. <laughs> Owen says, good shot. So far, thank you, Owen, my friend. Let's go. Do anyone got do Xbox wait? Series S? Big Van, I do. Pound for pound. Now let's get moving out there. This guy's what is, uh, it's pound control, for pound the best so system. Do a hitman wants to hear a boxing control. joke? Oh, I don't know, man. I gotta think of one. I gotta think of one. You got me. You got me at the wrong time. You got me at the wrong time. Look at this. Very even. Although early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control this fight. What an excellent two-punch combo by Pernell Whitaker. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities. Because it's interesting how now Cervello's going on the back bit. pedal. Now he has a chance Such a smart fighter, not giving you the handle. same look every Unable single round. There by He's doing a nice job. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the flash. Oh. Well placed, well timed combo up top. I don't know if I like those exchanges. Cervello's getting the best of us now. see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. I'm gonna fire that jab when I can. Sweet keys on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Now he's backing away. Job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the flag. Oh, nice. Not able to connect with the uppercut. See that hook kind of landed. Oh, yeah. It's like the first real hook that I landed this fight. Whitaker's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for us. Oh. Good one, too, by Garcia. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Wow. Garcia is showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy. And that is your ability to. Wow, good round. I think it's 2 2. 
It's got to be 2-2. Two, two. I'm still thinking of a joke for do a hitman. You wait, you walk into a bar and there is a line of people waiting to punch you. That's the punchline. <laughs> That's pretty funny. What's up, Holland? Holland. Oh, what's up, man? Alex is saying, "Good job, Parnell. Keep it up." Yeah, I think it's one. I think it's two two. I like what Alex is saying. Okay, this is a good fight, man. This is a good fight. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. It's giving me that different look. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the flag. Yeah, I like this. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Again, it, Cervello's just got the better combos. Beautiful job at throwing his punches. Good combination. Hook into the body with the left. And then going up top with the right. Now he's leaning back. That's that awesome. Punch. Leading back and trying to lure me in. Not fully committing to the brawl exchange, you know? Touch and go. Uh, the old timers love that right there. The right hand and the left hook to the head. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Oh, and nice. I love how he did that. Back dash. Very clean offense from defense by Garcia. Garcia's showing us that he's aggressive, but this is not a good kind of aggression. You can be countered this way. Yeah, it's a reckless aggression. What do you, you mean? Know, just walking in there, you know, with these big wide punches. Oh! Pernell Whitaker's been stunned! Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now. Wow, what a way to end off the round. Didn't get the drop. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> Wimper's saying work the body. <laughs> What a great fight. Keeps up with the overaggression. Ricky keeps up with the overaggression. All right. I just need Rick to guide me through it again. Okay. War Puppy, I'm already down. Okay, I can just agree to the terms. Yeah. Gives access to online. Yes. And then you're in. Come on, RJ. Native says nice round. Thanks. This is a close fight, man. So close. Round six. Good two punch combo by Pernell Whitaker. Oh. Pernell Whitaker's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Gotta watch out when he does this. One, two jabs He's so top. good. He's waiting to explode. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Oh, just ran out of real estate. Nice block. Oh. And he's got a beautiful back dash straight. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Whitaker's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Oh, nice. Gotta be so careful. That's his money shot, is it? Basic boxing, and it works so well. Put your punches together. A good combo by Pernell Whitaker. This is so Cervello's round, I feel. 
Should he be sticking with this style after being rocked in this fight? It's still early enough. I would say yes. You know, you don't want to panic. You don't want to. It's definitely Cervelo's round. Forward. You want to stay with what brought you here. Hey, so quick. This, not for hours, not for days, not for weeks. You know, months and years he's been taught this. You don't throw it out. You stay with it. That was a miss by Pernell Whitaker. Wow. Oh, what a great round. I think we're going to see the, the numbers. I may have to turn up the dial a little bit. Dad's God saying this fight's so good. Eric's saying to start taunting. Should I start taunting? Oh, man. No knockdowns yet. Knock on wood. We're going around seven. I need a little liquid. Who's really landing? All right. Cassius Clay wants some. Okay, here we go. Are we gonna? Oh, it's after this round, I think. Here we go. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Good, accurate work there after blocking that blow. A classic one-two combo by Pernell Whitaker. Gotta watch out for his aggression. Gotta keep on circling away from the ropes. Punching is just perfect there. Three punches. Nice. Uh oh. Oh. Gotta play. Show them that poker face. Show them that poker face. Oh, what a whip by Pernell Whitaker. Kind of skinned him with that. Oh. It's coming together now. Nice block by Garcia at the halfway point of round seven. That landed. That is boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Pernell Whitaker. Again, I feel like this is Cervello's round. Well off the mark by Garcia. Garcia's got to be really careful there, Teddy. I mean, he's leaving himself wide open. And what's going to happen next? See, you know, he's leaving himself open. He hasn't paid for anything yet, but that will be coming before you know it. Uh oh. Back to the head he goes. There's that proficient jab by Pernell Whitaker. Great uppercuts. Can't wait to see what the, what the scorecards say here. Oh, come on. Oh, good job by Cervello. Round seven. Got three more rounds to go. Wow. Come on, Purnell. Put the kid away. Can't wait to see what they say. I feel like uh, Miko Cervello is winning this. Woo! Great fight, it. Cassius That's Clay. Oh, he's cut. Like that. Just like that, right? Okay, here we go. So here we are, oh, Whitaker's up by one. All right. Eight. You got him up slightly, but this reminds me of like a classic distance, like the Kentucky Derby. Can they get the distance? Can they have something left in the stretch run? That's when it's going to decide it. Who can close best? Yeah, mostly nice. the jockey he's now. Getting... He's not going to hand ride him. He's going to go to that whip. I feel like he's, he's figured me out. That the other horses aren't gonna climb on him, aren't gonna game on him. He's kind of figuring me out, boys. The flash has got to be careful here, Teddy, because he can't stay like this. Yes, he's throwing punches, but not being effective at all. Oh. No, he's not. He's not landing. Nice. And that's bad for the scorecards, but... Oh! Pernell Whitaker's hit by a right hand. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Wow. That counter punch was very effective. He scored well. Nice work by Garcia. What a great job at recovering. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Garcia's well off the mark that time. Wow. What a fight. What a fight. Oh, again, there's his power move. And now he scores well with a straight right. With a straight nice. Cervello's a beast. What a battle if you guys are enjoying this fight. The flash's right hand scores well that time. Tried the hook, didn't get it. 
What a good counter punch by Garcia. Back to the body. Could be our round. I think this uh, that was our round. That was our round. Native says go, Ricky. Thank you so much. Cornell's getting cocky. Oh. Gotta go creator mode. <laughs> What's up, Dick? Wow, man. I think it's any. It's it's tied. I think it's tied. I have more significant strikes. Gotta keep my distance. All right, here we go. Round nine. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Pernell Whitaker. He has his target. He lands a straight right. Garcia's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Double jab by Pernell Whitaker. Beautiful job. Come on, Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Wow. Wow, he backs up the good sequence by Cervello. Burnell Whitaker blocks that away. Whitaker's really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face. Because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamental. Oh, nice. Yeah, Caught well, me there. That's why he always goes rounds, and that's why people think he has an iron shit. I don't know if he has an iron shit, because the shit never gets touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Nice. Popping that jab. Lands flush with the two punch combo by Pernell Whitaker. Whitaker pulls wow. the on the hook. Holy cow. What a good sequence by him. Oh, he just oh. misses with that headshot. Pernell Whitaker's combination punching is working well here. Wow. A little head hunting with the right. Whitaker showing you a little What a great job. There. Oh, get him, get him. What? This guy's a monster. You get him rocked and then he rocks you right back. Oh, yeah, man. He's so crafty in this game that when you rock him, he fights right back. I tried to go rush him. Mateo's like, go rush him. Oh, man. Use your reach. Wow, he's cut. Get him in this round. He's cut. What a fight. What a fight this is. Respect to Cervello. No turning back now. Tenth round is upon us. Last round of the fight. Whitaker's combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. There's a headshot, but he parries it away. Nice. Really frustrating his opponent now. Pernell Whitaker so defensively sound. And he's backing away. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now. If you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses... He's starting to find his own here. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Pernell Whitaker. He just missed that shot up top. Move your head. Whitaker's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with the <laughs> three punch combo? Oh, no. Right hand. Up your jab. Can you 
Going after that cut. Can't hit him. What a fight. What a fight. Respect to Cervello. Holy cow. Went the distance. Wow. What a battle. Who's got it? Who's got it? Who's got it? Oh, good job by Cervello. Gets the victory. What an amazing matchup that was. Holy smokes. Let's check out the cards. Wow. 96, 94, 97, 93, and 97, 93. You know, I got to say, man, his ability to throw those combos are just so hard to deal with. And, um, man, we had him rocked. I don't know how many times, but what a beautiful job he did at just fighting back when he was hurt. That was absolutely amazing. <laughs> Respect to Cervello. You guys are saying great fights, great card. Unbelievable. That was so cool. Nick Angel says Rob. I don't know about that. Will says nice fight. And we got a dose of Buckley in the house, man. That does not look like the face of a winner. Thank you so much. And man, if you haven't checked out a dose of Buckley, oh my gosh. What a great channel he's got. And I really appreciate you coming here, man. Much love to you. That was a great battle. Holy smokes, Cervello's just so good. And you know what's crazy? I fought Miko Cervello um, a while ago, and he came at me like a mile a minute. Look at how people are saying robbery. <laughs> I appreciate that. But he came at me a mile a minute, and Cervello just being so smart, so cool, um, so intelligent, showed a different look. And I was expecting him. I don't know, Miko. <laughs> Holy cow, if you remember. I was expecting you to kind of steamroll through and try to come after me like a bull in a china shop but he was patient showed a different form of virtual boxing and it was so cool to be in that ring with him wow man buckley saying thanks man you're doing good things here i appreciate it man i really do i saw two judges donated with the drug video of jsp <laughs> great fight Holy cow, man. That was awesome. George says, great match. I want to see, because um, Cervello's, wow, his defense was so good. That look at my punching percentage at a 37%. That is very low. My counters were high, but, um, you know, you got to credit that to Cervello's fantastic defense. Um, the little subtleties that he does in this, it's hard to find openings, and you see that in the percentage of my 37%. That is uh, not good, not good. What a fight, man. GG's to Cervello. So let's see what's going to happen here. We will... Let's um, pan on over to the wheel. Let's see here. And Cervello takes it. And the wheel is still jam-packed. Man, what are you guys saying in the chat? Uh, Cassius Clay wants some. Bill, what's up, Bill? Man? Bill says GG's. Ricky, what do I do when SSX downloads? So when it downloads, go in. And um, then you just gotta accept the terms and conditions. So go online, like you're gonna play the game online. And um, you'll see like a bunch of questions that they'll ask you, just say accept, accept. Once you accept that, put Fight Night in. And um, it should work, man, it should work completely fine. I like how everybody, <laughs> everybody downloads or buys SSX. Just to, that's your door, your doorway or your pathway into Fight Night. That's a decent game. Cervello says, another great fight. That was awesome, man. That was so cool. Dad's Gone says, to the wheel. 
The judges got to be banned. Dana White always says never leave it in the hands of the judges, but I, I still feel like the judges got it right. Um, I was doing good things with the counters, but Cervella was doing better with the combos and the output. Who would win? Mayweather versus Tyson. Oh, come on. Iron Mike. Iron Mike. Wouldn't even be close, in my opinion. You just got to touch him a few times. And Tyson's got a good, um, good gas tank, so he can keep on going with that pressure. He can do that, man, for sure. So are we ready to spin the wheel again? Are we ready? Oh, RJ said he had bare knuckle mode. He didn't even know it. That's awesome. Do Hitman says, Mr. Tortellini. Elijah Cordova. I am a no judge guy. <laughs> I was trying to ask you a question. What were you trying to ask me? What were you trying to ask me? I want to do middleweight right me man all right for sure okay we're gonna spin the wheel tyson would knock may out through his block i think so too man please pick me all right last time mateo mateo was crying to the wheel it picked him mateo was crying the blues in the chat i don't know if you guys remember that but he was like it never picks me it never picks me and you know what lo and behold it landed on garza and he was going bonkers wherever he <laughs> wherever he lives. Man. Where do you live, Mateo, by the way? Uh, Ricky's last name is named after a piece of pasta. Tortellini. Yeah, it's good, man. It's good. Do you like the beef or the cheese? Let me know. Um, we would have a good fight if we fought. Oh, Cassius Clay. I'm sure we would. I'm still waiting on the Nagano versus Fury. Oh, you want me to make that video? Yeah, man. I want Undertaker versus Kane. All right. Hate you said my name in Spanish. Oh, sorry, man. Elijah Cordoba. Atlanta in here. Did I miss any classic fights? Charles, you missed a great fight with me and my good buddy Miko Cervello. We went bell to bell, and it went to a decision. It was um, it was a great battle, man. All right, we ready to spin? The man, the myth, the legend, the guy who will keep you guessing. The man who never comes second. The king of the kangaroos. So what are you going to do when War Poppy's coming for you, brother? Let's see what it's like. Let's see like a middleweight fight. This time. Um, yeah, that would be cool. Mateo lives in Texas. What are the chances of Masvidal Kobe in a boxing match? I would like to see that. Okay. Elijah needs to be put on. Elijah. Don't say his name. Say it. North American. Cordova. Yeah, that was an instant classic. Conor McGregor. How do you get on the wheel? Cassius Clay. You just put your name. I'm going to do it right now. Caleb Adams. Caleb Adams. Caleb, sorry. I kind of... <laughs> there we go. Caleb Adams is on the wheel. Spin it. Low blow only challenge. That would be cool. Can you, um, for all you guys out there that know this game front and back, inside and out, can you make it no rules and just do a headbutt challenge? That would be cool. Remember when you told me to let you in? JK. <laughs> uh, Nam, you lost? We 200 deep, Ricky. Let's go, baby. Oh, you're fighting Eric? What's up, Suave Jamie? Oh my gosh, the legend. If you haven't checked out Suave Jamie's channel, please check it out, man. Holy cow, that guy is the best. Or some people argue one of the best UFC 4 players in the world, man. I wonder if he's going to Vegas for that big tournament. But much love to Suave Jamie. Suave Jamie. Remember that, that song? I don't know if you guys remember. All right, are we ready? All right. What's up, Bully McGuire? Yes, you can make it where the ref does. Okay, interesting, RJ. I'm going to write that down, man. I'm going to write that down. All right, here we go. We're going to spin the wheel. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. What, RJ, did you fix it? It's called referee awareness. Thank you so much, Travis Fields. He says uh, he loves my content. I appreciate that. RJ saying to wait. Uh, if you if you came in late, 
it landed on RJ. And um, he's trying to get it. No, it downloaded though. Okay. So you know what we'll do, RJ? We'll do a fight right now. And then um, if you get it working, you'll be next. Okay, so just hang tight, my friend. Worst case scenario, you use bare knuckle fighting, Ricky. All right, can I be on just for fun? Of course. And we have a rule here now, Billy. If you don't have the game, you can gift your winnings to somebody that does have the game. Okay, patch the god. Okay, we're going to spin it so people aren't waiting around too long. Here we go. Respect to Cervello for a fantastic fight. And thank you all so much for being here on this Friday night. And um, if it lands on you, you pick the weight class at the end of the day. I just love coming on here and hanging out with you guys. So here we go, baby. Good luck. Three, two, one. Oh, it's Clabs. Clabs. Where is Clabs? Where is Clavs? I think Clavs is here. Alex loves the background music. Mateo doesn't like it. No, but I thought Clavs. Clavs is going to gift this to somebody. Oh my gosh. Where is Clavs? He was saying he wanted to gift his uh, winnings. <laughs> he wanted to gift his winnings to War Poppy. War Poppy, he said that if he gets in, it's War Poppy time. Where is Clabs? Clabs, please be here. You said you'll give it to me. Where is this man? So what we're going to do, I saw him gift it. Uh, I saw him make that comment to War Poppy, and I'm not that type of guy to just turn away from something I read. So War Poppy, we're going to grant you that gift from Clavs. Clavs is uh, microwaving popcorn. So we are going to honor him and give War Poppy the battle. And I and just go into North America one, and um, we'll get that fight on. I did see him make that comment, and I think it's fair. Kushman, respect, man. He said that's fair. Or Poppy's booting it up. Take advantage of your opportunity. So if you want to know the backstory of War Poppy, so um, we had a fight a while ago, like it was a long time ago, and he was so kind that. He picked like um, Bob Sapp, who's like an 82, and I think I picked like somebody who was like a 91 or something like that, and I ended up winning. But in this game, if the differential of overall stats is like past two, the person with the higher overall stats has a significant advantage, and I ended up winning the fight not because I was more skilled, but because I had the um, the stats to back it up. So I think War Poppy kind of took me lightly. And now I feel like I won't let the fight go on unless he picks somebody that is even with, you know, the fighter I choose. Because it's just not fair, man. It's just not fair. So let's make this even. Alex is right. And I like Alex Ortiz, man. Saying a lot of great things. What weight class does Mr. War Poppy want? The Australian Chael Sonnen. I'm telling you, I'm going to uh, take a picture of his comments. He was going off on some really cool, like, uh, online vignettes kind of thing. Oh, he wants middleweight. Okay. So we're going to set it to middleweight. All right. Bruce Lee. Harry Potter. We might have to go with some wizardry. Get some wizardry. Are we getting UFC 4 next week? Maybe. I may have to, like, try to, like, you know, go through a little training session. Who's he going to pick? <laughs> Dad wants Harry Potter. 
<laughs> this is too funny. Look at George St. Pierre. I'm not impressed by your performance. Drizzy Drake. Look at that. Don't worry, Garza. Garza's losing his mind. Little Mac. Canelo Alvarez. Look at MJ. Michael Jackson. Is he going Bruce Lee? You got Tupac. You got... Okay, we, uh, we're done. Uh, let's see. Um, we're done with our creative guys. Wait, what about Roy Jones? Roy Jones. Oh, who's intoxicated? D-Mac. You demand Slick Rick. Enjoy watching the live. Thank you so much for the donation, brother. Is he going Bruce Lee? Thank you very much, d -Mac. I appreciate that. Okay, hold on. Because War Poppy is a beast. We got all the killers out tonight. Wait, he's going Bruce Lee. Uh, hold on. I guess I'll go Floyd? I'll go Floyd. Well, I got a different Floyd, but I don't want to go 96 Floyd. Hold on. I say we go Floyd, right? 93 Floyd. That's 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 very even. All right, here we go. What are you guys saying? Bruce is better. Butterbean. Yes. Serexio says Butterbean. I got I'm going as my level 92 character. Okay, here we go. Good evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Here we go. You already have a Joe Rogan now. calf? I gotta Let's find that. The, the best calves, though. This big night of Holy cow. I have to say, we're in WWE 2K22, man. I'm so right blown now. away by how on point these calves are. I don't know if you caught my last video, the Royal Rumble. Him, but, like, it, it randomly brought in guys that were my calves and they just were so realistic compared to the real life counterparts it's just so amazing and speaking of amazing like this game came out in 2011 where were you in 2011 and it's still holding its own He's believed that he it is definitely holding its own He's over with well this is his online guy war poppy that's awesome Cash says the Shaq calf was dope. That was crazy. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Shaq did very well in the rumble. <laughs> and I got to say, when I was watching that, I honestly thought I eliminated Shaq. And it was it threw me off because I thought there was a glitch in the game. But I kept on powering through the video. And lo and behold, Shaq made it right to the end. And here we go. Here we go. Mateo Garza was hyping up Shaq. Yeah, he uh, he was he was just a big boy. I thought this was Bruce Lee too, Bill. He tricked me. He pulled a he pulled a fast one on me. Wow, look at Floyd's eyes. Floyd. Had too many cups of coffee. He's wide awake. Here we go. Oh, Southpaw. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Sets up that right hand with the jab. Nice. Well, he's has a cool stance. That in a matchup like this, power puncher versus power puncher, that he who has more power wins. But in a way, is it as simple as saying he who has more fundamentals wins? Yes, absolutely. He who has a missile to get that bomb to the target, he's going to win. Mayweather's got to be feeling oh, nice. nailed by a counterpunch. Well, thanks for the sub, my friend. Well, he's got the attitude. Something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. He's good at being so elusive. He's long. He's the same height, but he seems so much longer. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. 
halfway through this round. See, he's got his guard up nice. really well that time, and it protects his head. You think you you think you got him? And he backs away, looking to counter. Great movement to get away from those punches. He tried to nice. nab him up top, but was unable to connect. This is definitely War Poppy's round. Blocks that punch. Combo lands. Good one, two. Hand. He's hurting us. He's hurting us. All right, a little uh, get to know you kind of round. I don't even think I touched him that whole round. I don't think I touched him. Ricky, you should do a women's Royal Rumble match. Oh, yeah, Eric, I saw your comment before. Uh, Nice mousetrap there. He let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese. He used distance. Nice. Just so good at just staying out of range. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Well, that's a smart fighter because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Moving around, doing a great job. Touching and going. How about a return to sender with the left hand? 90 seconds to go here in this round. Wow. Yeah, there we go. Let's get him to whiff a little bit. These fights are always like so tough, man. <laughs> They're too tough. Good job with another left hand. Well off the mark by money. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Little head hunting with the left. Blocks that blow. A little uppercut, uppercut action. Interesting style compared to Cervello. Like he's so content with just being on the back leg. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Cassius Clay says he's trading for me. Ricky Ali versus Tyson in their primes. Who would win? Oh man. Gotta say Muhammad Ali. Gotta say Muhammad Ali. I lost my copy of Champions while packing. Oh no, I settled... I settled for me copy of round three and enjoyed it. It's nothing compared to champions though. Maybe you can get it if you have um, Game Pass. Got it out quick. Um, how do I do it, Alex? Tell me, man. Oh, we got another donation. I got 199 on Ricky. Duh, I don't know, man. War Poppy is amazing. I just can't seem to touch him. Off the combination there and it lands. Gotta keep on trying to push. There's a nice left hand able to get in. Money's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Mayweather's doing a really good just job. Just so hard to hit. Kind of nailed him there. And waiting for that golden opportunity.
opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants a lead out of his opponent right now. The so one two action. And bang, come right back with that hook. Too many punches. Hands up. That was us. That was us. Nice. Can't, I got to be patient here. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Mayweather's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Oh, what a crazy Zika. Oh. Nice work, nice Zoning work. in on that gut combination punch downstairs. Loves the one, two. Yeah. Come on, baby. Hey, 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 let's go. Money's punch didn't come close. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Oh, good combos. Forcing me to backpedal. Oh, I was hoping he was going to commit to that. Come on, baby. Oh, nice shot right at the end. What's Alex saying? There you go, Ricky. The left hook is landing a ton for you. All right. Do I play Halo? No, I don't. That's... Well, of a southpaw stand. I know he's, he gets so um, long. I swear, if you just did a Friday night fight on Twitch and you can get the word out, you'd have a couple thousand watching and a few hundred subscribers. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I've never actually tried to venture on Twitch. Kind of a simple guy, you know. Hang out on YouTube and, and that's that. But um, that's, that'd be a great idea. Wow, we had a 10-8 round. Holy cow. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. He's just doing such a good job at staying long. Oh, man. Gotta go back to that body. Poppy's doing amazing. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counter punching. Too bad I didn't connect there. There was an opening. And he returns on that exchange. Good sequence for us. Maybe that was our best moment so far in this fight. Yeah, another one. Halfway through this round here. Yeah, a little uppercut action. Oh, nice. Hand, the straight left hand scores well for him. Committing to the head work, you see him go there again. It's a better uh, round for us. May not be winning it, but it's a better one. Good combination with a flush left hook to Another the body, right. And then that right hand. Let's see if he comes over. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Boy, some of the old school guys would really appreciate this. One yeah. Teddy, just great upper body movement, so elusive up top. Yeah, there's an example like they used to say in old days. He stands right in front of you, and you can't hit him in the backside with a head full of bug shot. Oh. Mayweather's making for a tough target there. He gets away Still from doing that. a lot of whiffing. Still doing a lot of whiffing. That was a better round. Oh, Teddy, it just feels like one of those nice, <sighs> one of those fights. Where somebody's getting hurt. Where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. You did everything. It's still not letting you in. Why don't you, um, RJ, YouTube it? 
YouTube it. Try to see if uh, somebody can give you a step-by-step -step tutorial in a vid. Oh, nice. Stairs with the right hand. Oh, crazy Zeke. Oh. oh, Poppy's just too good. He's missing just slightly. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. to the straight right a nice block by money still plenty of time to work here in round number five minute and a half to go all right move in, move in. he missed with that headshot oh <laughs> just <laughs> just missed by inches just by inches brother Oh. Get the combination working, land both punches. Good job protecting himself. Mayweather's rocked by a huge wow. to the head. Money's wanting the counter punch here, but that doesn't seem the route to go here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself and see that. It's good that we kind of recovered there. The pressure in all walks of life, you know, in the ring, especially you see it right away. You, you kind of peek at it right away. It's obvious. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to see what he has to see. Because then he would have to discipline himself. He's not ready to wow. Then he would have to make the change. We've had our moments, but got to give it up for War Poppy here. Man. You know, hard to fight with. You know, and he has an excuse. Maybe that's what's going on. I really like um, the stamina game. Nick Angel wants me to do a Marco Ruas and stomp on his toes. King Oz says by round seven and eight he'll be gassed. I don't know about that, man. But he's Poppy's just doing a fantastic job, man. Respect to Poppy. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. That was us. That was us there. That counter. To the combination punching now, and it's working out well up top. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Yeah. Uh -oh. the left after setting it up with a jab. Good block by Money. Oh. Had our little moments here, man. Again, we're not winning this match, but we're having our moments. We're being quicker to the punch. Nice block by Money. Nice. Fire that time. Hooks on the inside. Yeah. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Oh, to the belly button. <laughs> Goes up top with a right hand. Good fundamental work landing the one two there. Oh. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Nice. That was nice.
still a great round, man. How do you get a chance to play against you? We'll just put you on the wheel. We just throw you on the wheel. Then. There you go. Counter straight. Use the jab. Stepping out. One, two combo to the body. You win round and gas about. Thanks, King Oz. Here we go. Round seven already. Respect to Poppy. Oh, that was us there. Oh, watch out, this guy's a counterfighter. <laughs> Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Nice. He took a shot. But he came back with a right hand of his own. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing. And that is superb defense. And it's on target tonight. It is. The old time yeah. you'd say, you know, that's the hard thing is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. Yeah. Not an accurate hook at all. Interesting. Kind of like want him to chase me. Come on, baby. Oh, he's just so good at sticking to his game plan, though. like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Nice. Last 10 seconds. Oh. Oh, nice. Good little shots at the end. <sighs> We're getting shut out here, man. We're getting shut out. This is an amazing job. Really frustrating his opponent now, as he's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. So it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. Okay, we want him to like be aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Yeah. There's the combo downstairs. Oh. The halfway point of round number eight. A very crisp combination by Money. See if he comes at us. Keep moving. Yeah. Oh no. Bang by a left hand. Oh, good job. Poppy just so smooth, so opportunistic here. And he drops poor Bayweather. And it was crazy. I thought it was doing good things. Man, I thought I was doing good things until we started eating that canvas. Gotta take the A count. Gotta take the A count. People are saying, come on, I appreciate the love. Let's see if he comes at us. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. Oh, he's so good at leaning back like that. 
Let's go, baby. <laughs> oh. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. We may have to roll the dice and have him come at us here because he's just dominating us. I got to knock him out. Denzel's right. Just go for the knockout, Ricky. No way to win. Yeah, you're right. I got to go out on my shield. Throw some uppercuts. There we go. There we go. Uh-oh. Teddy, you like this kind of fighting, this infighting with the short power punches? Oh, I love it. When you're in close, you want to keep those punches nice and short so you don't Let's leave See if he open. comes at us. I'd like to see him visit downstairs a little more, though. Oh, no. Oh, I tried to grab the rope. <laughs> I tried to grab the ropes to keep myself up. But it just wasn't meant to be. Here we go. Oh, we get up. We get up. Rattled. Garza egging me on. Doing a great job. Trying to take me out. Oh, what's this? How is he able to fire back? This guy's a legend. How was he able to fire back like that? He is just too good. Maybe looking a little tired though. Or is that wishful thinking? Wow. Going for that back dash. Wow, that was a good little uh, moment there for us, but we're having these moments, but just can't really do much. I think we have to just go down with our shield here. We gotta just go down with our shield. I don't think he's as tired as you guys think. It's because he's throwing those big shots, but see that? Yeah, he seems to be. This is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's pretend we're hurt. Let's pretend we're hurt. Let's pretend we're hurt. Oh. oh, come on. Oh, nice. He just got hit by a good solid counter. Mayweather sticking to his game plan, regardless of the fact that he's been down in this fight. Yeah, and one friend you could compliment him for, Joe. You could say he, he understands who he is, he understands his identity. He's going to win or lose with that. But on the other hand, there are some oh. changes he has to be He's just so good at recovering, man. Or Poppy is just a piece. Uh oh. Oh, everybody will tell you you can't get away with that. What a big wide sweeping whiff that was. Well, you can get away with it if the guy doesn't want to throw back. But if this guy wants to start throwing back, then you're not getting away with it. Just a minute to go in this battle. Oh. 
Uh oh. Oh. Mayweather's movements really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Comeback kids hit by a counter punch there. Punches and bunches working well. Oh man, he's got his corner. To the head he goes with a left hand. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> let's hope we can get up for pride. For pride. Let's hope we can get up for pride here. All right, we're going to make it to the bell, hopefully. All right. That's kind of like a feather in my cap. That's a feather in my cap, but when all said and done, that was pure domination by Poppy. Respect, man. Sorry, D-Mac, to let you down. <laughs> At least we went to the end. But the scorecards are going to be impressive for Poppy. And embarrassing for me here. Look at those scorecards. Have you ever seen such a one-sided matchup? MQ says War Poppy needs to get tested. <laughs> needs to get... <laughs> that was crazy. What a great job he did at the last three rounds, man. 10-8, 10-8, 10-8. Poppy's got to test that... The virtual P on that one, but come on, all joking aside, that was very, very impressive. I just felt like I had my moments, but I couldn't keep it up. I couldn't keep it going for um, a long uh, stretch there, and that's when Poppy just did a great job at adapting to what was getting thrown at him. And, and Antonio's right, he did whoop that booty on that one. <laughs> <laughs> the elevated testosterone is because I'm the king of the kangaroos. You know what's so cool though? It's like he's all the way in Australia and I'm in Toronto, Canada. And it felt like we were just like neighbors playing. It, like if you have to think about it, that is amazing when it comes to technology and how we've how far we've come, really. You play a guy across the world and no lag at all. Super smooth connection. Ricky, if you're going to do a IRL career, would you do WWE or boxing? Wait, what's an IRL? Oh, man. The metal. What's an IRL? It was like a constant teabag. It was a clean sweep for sure. Oh, look at this. D-Max again. Much love to War Poppy. Reminds me of when Big Bro used to rub me up. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great performance. It's all gravy. Good fight, Slick Rick. Much respect to War Poppy. You know, it's so funny. War Poppy was nice. And um, when we fought the first time, he picked a very low rank guy. And now he came back with a vengeance big time. That was awesome. Oh, in real life. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you guys so much. What was the question again? What was the question? What was the question? If you were going to do in real life fighting career, would it do, would you do WWE or boxing? That's a good question. I'd probably do WWE because you know you're not going to get like punched in the face so many times, you know? What would you guys do? <laughs> Thank you so much for the uh, clarification. Step it up, Ricky. That's 0-2. You're right. Is that 0-2? Do, do I have a victory against? Wow. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to change this stream to getting pieced up by the subscribers. Oh man. I just want to check something. So yeah, look at that. Both of us had very good defense. 35, 37 percent is very, very low. Ryu says WWE. I'll do boxing because I want to be a professional boxer one day. It's just like the shots to the head, you know? The shots to the head would, um, I don't know, you're kind of risking it. Look at the Funkasaurus hanging out in East Coast North America 1. 
Oh, uh, that's too cool. So let's go back to the wheel. UFC careers are shorter. I know. I really like um, what GSP did, man. You didn't hang around too long, you know? It's all right, Ricky. If you fight me, then I, that'll go one and two. That's not true. Matthew. Oh, Matthew, you have an interesting career you want to be, man. Or a dream. <laughs> That's too funny, man. That's too funny. Um, RJ says he almost got it. No way. Kind of reminds me of uh, the Karate Kid when he got injured. And they, the, the event was over and they were presenting Johnny Lawrence with uh the trophy and then they're like daniel arusso and it wants to fight daniel arusso wants to fight let's go get the dub how do you get on the wheel wait we got crick c claps i'd pick w so i can hit people with chairs <laughs> or um power bomb people into chairs right but you have to stuns that still give high grade cte you might as well do boxing. You max out your money quick and retire young. That's true, Jerome. That's actually true. WWE guys don't get paid as much as people think. For sure, we got G760. You know, um, what was I going to say? There's no, like, uh, off-season in WWE. I wish there was an off-season. Um, RJ says, let me sign in, then we'll see what's up. All right. It better be me or else I'm going to be very moderately fumed. That's Fordo. Jeez, what's going on with RJ? So RJ got banned uh, for some reason. And I, I don't know. I can't remember what he said. And then um, he's trying to use a different account. He can't get online. War Poppy says, so Ricky, we're one and one now. I wonder what match we should do for the decider. Man, we got to think of something. We got to think of something, but I got to like, um, you know, look at the tape and figure out a game plan because as it stands now, Poppy is just way too good for me, man. But I got to figure something out. Can you add F1 X21 six King to the wheel for sure. The wheel is stuck. I know that's a huge wheel. I don't think we've ever seen it like this. What's up, Nathan? But the thing is, um, we're, we're opening up the wheel for people that don't have the game. I really feel like maximum participation is the key. So some people that are on the wheel don't have the game, but they're going to gift it to you. So if you're commenting in the chat, they may see your name and say, come on, I got to have that guy fight. Just like uh, War Poppy. War Poppy was picked. Well, he didn't get selected, but somebody else got picked, and they, they wanted War Poppy to fight. Who's your favorite WWE star? Macho Man Randy Savage. Let me tell you something, Metal Knight. Oh, yeah. I don't know why you're coming in and asking me so many questions. <laughs> but, yeah, it's Macho Man. Macho Man Randy Savage. Add me. Hi, though. All right. Hi, thou. I want War Pop. You have to avenge Ricky. You could do it, Andrew, on the side. That's a good idea. How do you get on the wheel? We got ah. Oh, Choppa. There we go. Like I said, <clears throat> when I take breaks, I come back as a beast. Been playing WWE and FPS and reacting games. Cool, man. I'm really enjoying WWE, but... I don't know how people always reverse you, man, in the game. It's hard. <clears throat> Especially when you go online. <laughs> I learned the hard way. <laughs> Miss 80s wrestler. Yeah, wrestling. My favorite star is The Undertaker. Metal Knight, you will rest in peace. Are we ready to spin? Gotta. Oh, no, they're the cam girls. We thought they weren't going to be here. We thought they weren't going to be here. I got them. I got them. I got them. I got them. They came last week. Why are they picking on me, man? Why are they picking on me? But we got them quick. Oh, was it War Poppy that got them? Look at this. How, how do we not have the best mods, man? Everybody jumped on. 
It was War Poppy, Eric, Muhammad Ali, man. How is that is awesome. Okay. I love this guy. Glad I found you, Ricky. Thank you so much. Metal Knight. I do other impressions too, man. Anderson Silva, Nick Diaz. Sorry, Ricky. I didn't mean to attract the girls. See, Muhammad Ali comes in. He has a following. <laughs> it's too funny. All right. Let's spin it. <clears throat> I'm gonna pause the the music. Hopefully you're enjoying the YouTube uh, music library. That's free music, you know. Anthony says, can you do Anderson Silva? I don't know if I could do it right now, brother. Because right now I'm going to tell you that, Anthony, we need to spin the wheel because Ricky can't get a win if his life depended on it, and that's not good. But it's big sport, and we're gonna spin it. Here we go, baby. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle it up. Three, two, one. What was it, Matthew Garza? Mateo! Hi, thou! He came in through the kitchen! He came in through the kitchen! Yo, you know what I'm saying, Nick Diaz? You know, I don't understand how some guy, you know what I'm saying, doesn't even, like, watch Ricky or whatever, comes into a stream like he knows the guy, and, <clears throat> you know, like, steals Mateo Garza's thunder or whatever. Like, I'm sure Mateo <clears throat> spent all week on this cane calf or whatever, and now this guy comes in through the, I guess, the, the back kitchen, and now he's going to fight, and that's how it is, you know, just like... I was saying about, like, other fighters, you know, uh, GSP, you know, you got to even, like, Carl Parisian or whatever. These guys get title fights. I fight everybody, and Dana White turns away and says, you got to keep on fighting Robbie Lawler. You know what I'm saying? Like, when do I ever get my due? You know what I'm saying, Anthony? You're a cool man. Let's hang out or whatever. Doritos. I just want to go and ask if you could do Nick Diaz. He's third. <laughs> So wait, where is Hi Thou? Sometimes people pop in and out. Sometimes people pop in and out. Where is this man? Miguel's saying respin. We may have to do a respin. Alex Ortiz is saying shout out. You want me to shout? I think we're gonna have to spin again. You're waiting too long. All right. Gotta put a cap on the wheel in the future. Yeah, you may be right, man. It's getting out of hand. I finally made it to the stream. What's up, Factor? Best cereal in town. Let me just check something here. Hold on a minute. Where is, let's see here. I'm looking for Hi Thou. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Where is Hi Thou? Add me. Oh, yeah, you're right. Crystal. That's it. Sorry. Sorry about that. So, Crystal, it's me. I just had to double check. So, Crystal, hi thou. Go into Post North America 1. And um, we'll get a, a battle in there. You pick the weight class. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if I win or lose. <laughs> I just love hanging out with you guys and girls out there. Um, so go into um, East Coast North America 1. Alex Ortiz said, just got fired today. I love my vacation. Oh, no, man. You got fired. Don't worry. Regroup. And come on. You'll be back better than ever. You been streaking any? <laughs> streaking. <laughs> uh. Hey, Ricky, can you watch sometimes the boys, Josh Dub, Eddie versus Juice Molly? 
and your narrator. What? I don't know what that meant, Colin. Man, I just want to hear Ricky do a 22-year-old Mike Tyson impression. I can't do the Tyson impression. Alex Ortiz needs some Winslow to smile in his life. That's funny. What? Why did? Yeah, I was gonna. I was wondering why Colin Birch got got hidden there. Okay, what weight class? Yeah, you're there. What weight class? I think uh, we're gonna we'll see. Go heavyweight, maybe. Okay, you're in. I've never heard of what. Do they speak English? Okay, invite the game. Do Nate Diaz? I. Oh, Nate. Yo. I'm just kind of hanging out with my brother, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've kind of, you know, it's funny. I've kind of stopped doing Nate Diaz. I was so good at doing Nate Diaz. What happened to Hi, Hi Thou? Wait. Look at Connor. Who's the boxer that raps? Who's the boxer that raps? Who's that? Oh, here we go. Navigating through the menus. Look at Nate. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, my guy is not even, like, in the game or whatever. And I, it looks exactly like me. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, the wheel should be sacred to the dedicated subscribers who come faithfully and on time every week. Not just speaking for myself, but for everyone else. You know, Cushman, I... I yeah, man, I, I, I cannot disagree with that. We tried something new this time around, Cushman, but next time, you know what? We will get back to basics and put the subs on there. The OGs like you. Look at Matthew. Garcia wants to be added to the wheel. But no, I agree with you on that one. I, I, I definitely agree with you on that one. That was a good Nate Diaz. My brother's the best <clears throat> fighter ever. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. <laughs> Yo, I don't understand why people are laughing at me, you know what I'm saying? Like, Michael Alexander Jr., he's not even, like, senior. He's coming on here and laughing, you know what I'm saying? Randomly stumbled here, staying for a while. Like, Celios is a cool dude, you know what I'm saying? Says good things, doesn't make fun of people that are, like, just hanging out, you know, trying to be, he's trying to be cool, not trying to be rude, you know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. Finally got around to trying the stream, and I think I might have a handle on it. Oh, way to go, Shadow Snake. Crystal, why you left? Oh, no, no, I'm here. I'm waiting. Oh, let me try that again. Let's do it again. Invite to game. All right. Look at Van Damme. You sound like a raspy, clear Donald Trump. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Click start and select. Look, there's Nate. Look at Morgan Freeman. 81 inch reach. That's a fantastic reach. Look at Chuck. Chuck Norris. Look at Eddie Hall. That's a great Eddie Hall. Yeah, you guys haven't seen that. <laughs> Thor. Andy Ruiz. The Hulk. That's a great Anthony Joshua, isn't it? Alex likes <laughs> Chuck Norris. Look at Rampage. I just sound I sounded like Nate, Nate or Nick. Do me a favor, Nick. Yell Doritos. What? Who do you think I am? Yo, Doritos, man. That's it. I'm not doing any more like this ain't a, like a puppet show or whatever. Muhammad Ali. Like, I don't even know how you're talking. Shouldn't you be... You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> Look at the dead man. Nick Diaz makes me laugh every time. <laughs> I got to get back to practicing Nate. Hold on, I'm going to practice right now. <clears throat> uh, Yo, you know, I, Conor McGregor. 
You stole my money. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it kind of sounds too similar to... Look at Rocky Balboa. That's a great Balboa. <laughs> so what's going on with Crystal? Um, maybe Crystal... Andrew Tucker, I'm crying laughing. Stop it. Has anyone come across Adonis Creed in the cap? Yeah, I have him. Maybe Crystal... Uh, if Crystal sends me the invite... I'll look at number 23 here. Kimbo. It's a great Kimbo. Chuck Liddell. Yeah, invite me. That's a good idea. Look at Fat Man 3000. Okay, here we go. Alright, so it works. That's awesome. Wow, high out thou's using Butterbean? Okay, wait a minute. I'll go Kruger versus Butterbean. See, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to pick somebody too high. Unless um, high thou is like an unbelievable <laughs> player. Look at this school me. But you know what I mean? I want to keep it pretty... Are you intoxicated? Oh, thank you so much, Ace Hangman. Butterbean's the goat. Oh, look at this matchup. Winslow versus Butterbean. I don't know. Who do you guys think would be... Thank you so much, Ace Hangman. Have a great night. Sorry, I'm trying to find somebody that's... Lower rated. I guess he really wants Butterbean. You think I should go Biggie? Well, let me know in the comments. Okay, hold on. He really wanted to. Okay, I'll go Biggie. Biggie versus Biggie versus uh, Butterbean. I think that's a fair matchup. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna pick Chuck Liddell. Sorry. Let's go Chuck Liddell. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, Crystal. I think Chuck, there, 83, Chuck Liddell. Chuck Liddell versus Butterbean. What kind of matchup is this? This is going to be hilarious. Here we go. Good evening. Thomas Good Mack Center. Tour alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for tonight's main event. Butterbean. Of heavyweight action and the anticipation for this going up against as the week has gone the ice man talk behind these two Mateo's now happy right now is two out of ten oh no making his way to the ring right Eric here we go seeing his eyes what his intentions are tonight let's see this uh Chuck Liddell calf you know it's funny a long time ago I went to go meet ice Chuck Liddell in Toronto at Extreme Couture really and um, there was so many people I waited two hours the only people I am the only famous person I met was uh, Mauro Ranello you know the commentator in Pride and WWE and now he does some um, boxing events and I'm like what a waste of time I waited two hours to meet Ma Mauro Ranello Mauro Ranello I'm probably saying his name wrong I'm like, that is not right. And we couldn't even get into the front door. And I wanted to meet Chuck Liddell so bad. I printed out pictures. KD Trey says, can I get a shout out? I'm not going to shout you out. Nick Diaz is. Yo, what's up, KD Trey? You know what I'm saying? Love your name, man. Thanks for coming by. Supporting Ricky. Even though he's Canadian. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Here we go, look at the Iceman. They trade shots. 
shots. He comes back with a right hand. We are underway here, and we've heard from everybody that speed is going to be the big factor. Butterbean's got it. Plenty of it. Yeah, now it's up to his opponent to come up with something. Maybe go to the body, take it away, slow him down. Iceman starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your group. Uh -oh. Good block there by Iceman. Go, go, go. Oh, he's... <laughs> Butterbean's got that power, man. That worked out really well. Against Throw Butterbean, you gotta be careful. Like that. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counterpunch. Looked like the will of the wish. The old great... Oh, yeah. Made him miss, made him pay. Good exchange. Scoring well with the right hand. Good way to nice combos. Hook to the head with the uppercut. Come on, kid, go. A little defense turns to offense by Iceman. Chuck. Chuck had that overhand. Is it translating in boxing? Uh oh. Oh boy. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Oh, <laughs> we gotta do it. We gotta get on Chuck Liddell's bike, man. Another Touch and go. Remember, he did that against Renato Sobral. Remember that? Game off. You can see the and Randy Couture you know I see? I see a was running back, firing bombs the on the back foot. Bang, it gets caught. Try to go downstairs, but off target. Able to block that away. It was oh, man. See, I'm just not good at hanging out in the pocket. I'm just good at, <laughs> you know, going with that counter punch and then resetting. Ooh, that little chicken wing. Man, I'm getting craving chicken right now. You know what I'm craving right now? <laughs> you don't care. I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> I'm going to tell you anyway, brother. Poutine. And I know we don't have a lot of Canadians on here. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty in shape, man. I'm pretty in shape. Um, but I, I have a, a cheat, cheat weekend. I always go with the cheat weekend action. And I'm craving, I know Spence is killing you, but it's poutine. Fries, cheese curds, gravy, a little white vinegar, some pepper. That's what I'm craving right now. I have this whole, like, health kick that I've been following since I was um, in my early 20s, brother. And I'll tell you how it is. Only drink. Well, first of all, work out four to five days a week only work out for 40 minutes but don't take a lot of breaks okay not a heavy weight and uh from sunday to thursday drink coffee and water only okay friday saturday you could eat and drink anything you want but then once sunday hits water and coffee or tea And drink. What? We go by liters. So like four liters of water every day. I feel like it works. Also take my uh, my greens supplement. Take your BCAAs. Sleep for at least seven and a half hours. Trust me, your body will thank you. I don't know if anybody cares, but oh, he's got something for him himself. And felt like it was a great it's it's a great strategy because then you have something to look forward to on the weekend. Yeah. I'd love to see your thoughts in the comments. Now 
now he goes there again. And now he's oh. targeting upstairs. Ice fans on the wrong end of a Wow, Butterbean's power, man. Commits to giving one right back. Ice man's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and punches. The combination lands. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Wow, hi that was amazing. <laughs> My stamina is just spent. Wonder what the stamina action is. Oh. Oh. Wow. Fasting is good for you. That's true. Man said no one cares. About yeah, well, right seven now, hours. <laughs> but yeah, so no. <laughs> what are you eating through the week? So try to eat. Doug, if it, here's my motto, okay? If it's not from the ground or from an animal, don't eat it. That's a good mentality. Write that down. Love Ricky J. If it's not from the ground or not from an animal, don't eat it. All right, here we go. And round number three is underway. Back and forth exchange. Solid jab by Iceman. Butterbean's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Double jab right to the face. Telling you, man, this is hard. <laughs> he just looks exhausted Butter to me right now. Butterbean's accuracy is non-existent. This guy cannot punch a solid target right now. No, but what this shows, he's missing so many shots. We always think about the damage done when they land. This is showing you. Watch out for being in the corner. When they miss, you get discovered. Oh. Giving in. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Iceman's ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it. He's putting them together. You know, what we're touching him, but he's still marching forward, which is scary. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. Oh, oh, oh. big right hand lands. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still. Oh, a down goes the big man. He goes down, for the first down he goes. Oh man. Okay, let's see if we could uh, keep on putting it on him. He gets up at two. Try to go down low up high. Oh, good three piecer by the butter. Iceman's able to avoid that punch. Trying to slip him. Butterbean's able to land a good solid left hand. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Oh, Teddy, he is hurt. Oh, give him with the shot down low. And then a right hook on the way down. Let's see if Butterbean's gonna get up. Body, Ricky, body, thanks, King Oz. Are we gonna get. Oh, Butterbean's having a tough time. Oh, what a great job! What a great job. Oh, thanks for the sub. I appreciate that, my friend. And now 
Peticini Alfredo. This is our round. Why don't I do anything silly? Don't want to do anything silly. War Poppy says, Ricky, Jay is a knockout machine. He has more charm than Belly Delphine, the king of poutine. So you know your time is through when Ricky is coming for you. You know what, War Poppy? He's got to. This guy's got to get signed by somebody. WWE, Vince McMahon, if you're listening. Come on. Give this guy a contract. Remember Macho Man? I want to see that. I'm too sweet to be sour, the man of the power. I'm too cold to touch. And let me tell you something, brother, I'm too hot to handle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when I do Macho Man, I'm like, am I catching a cold? My throat is killing me. Oh, yeah. the, the key with the Macho Man impression, you gotta start out talking so low to the point where nobody can hear you. Who is Hulk Hogan think he is to come at SummerSlam 1988 and do what he did? Yeah! And then he starts off again. Low volume again. Low volume again. And he goes like this. Oh, yeah, the ultimate warrior, man. Doesn't even have an address. Doesn't even say nothing. I'm from Sarasota, Florida. And he says he's from Parts Unknown. Is it Parts Unknown? I don't understand. <laughs> okay, I gotta concentrate here. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Gotta watch out for our stamina, man. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. I'm worried about Chuck's stamina. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Relax. Butterbean's not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all. I would say to him, what do you think that he's going to make a deal with? And he you? looks if you don't hit the him fresher hard, of the two. Hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of it. Chuck's going to be on walking on quicksand. I, I can't. And you know what? Respect to High Thou for picking Butterbean, you know? Man, we don't have enough juice left. Look at this. Oh, man. Hopefully we'll get a boost in between rounds. That's our shot. It's pillow fighting time for us. What are we going to do here? It's crazy because we can't really tell. We can't really tell Butterbean's stamina because his guard's always up. <sighs> Butterbean definitely got heart. Miss Elizabeth was beautiful. I know. Trend kill. Was Macho Man from, yeah, I'm from Sarasota, Florida. Get it right, brother. So he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. Yes, I am tired. I don't even know what to do. This is a long way. You can't tell if Butterbean's tired or not. Butterbean's not finding the answer with 
like this style. He's got to make an adjustment from this brawling, slugging style here in these middle rounds. But Joe, you know, the problem is I don't think he can make that adjustment. What you see is what you get. This is scary, this man. Is what he is. This is what he trains to be. Thank you so much for the sub. Chuck is beginning to, well, he's not beginning to, he's sucking wind. The crowd showing the concern. We just have nothing left. What are we going to do, man? We got like five more rounds of this. Did we do enough in the earlier rounds? I don't know. What happened to Chuck? And he's not throwing... As many punches. Chuck's exhausted. Butterbean's three punch combination there. Look at this. I really don't know what to do at this point. Fans going about these middle rounds with a real solid game plan. And that game plan includes jabbing his way to the inside. And then once he's there, setting up camp. Yeah, you may have to just jab my way to the finish line. But you wonder why his opponent is allowing this to go on because he doesn't belong. On the inside at all. My girl yelling, come on, baby. He scored well after being Look at this. Out. The Iceman's just too tired. How about that exchange? Man, I, I feel like... Uh-oh. This is so crazy. Chuck Liddell. Almost need to take a round off. Butterbean's coming at us. Alex is saying the longer it goes, it doesn't bode well for you. He's so right. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know He's going for that home run defense. punch. This is a slow motion fight. Aaron saying he's moving in slow motion. I don't know. That's our shot. Good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those Yeah, those are two good counter shots. Look at Chuck on roller skates. There's another one. Good little comeback round for Chuck Liddell. Another one. Chuck's in zombie mode. Look at him. <laughs> Look at this. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. I think this could be our round, man. Oh, come on, Chuck. This could be our round. We got to keep on moving around. Get the big man to whiff. There's another one. Oh, come on, Chuck. I was like right there on a plate. Couldn't take advantage of it. 
offense a little too soon, and his opponent is I feel like we've done enough this round. I know it's not the most, you know, high action round you've ever seen. There's another one. I feel like this is our round. Chuck Liddell. Can't wait to see what the judges have to say. I think we get to see after the next round. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. All right. What are you guys saying? Pump the block. Miguel's right. What's up? Mostly anxious. How's it going? I'm doing good, man. Thanks for coming by. And thank you, everybody, for being here, man. Uncle Chuck is tired. He is. ESBC coming out soon. You're right, man. Here we go. The fans, they're, they're not really cheering too hard. Yeah, we got to keep on doing that. That's a good block by Iceman. Iceman's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Yeah, sure. Anytime you have speed, yes. you can put it into the equation where... Sweat flying do, all over the place. technically right. But now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. I wonder what Butterbean's stamina is like. Because he has his guard up the whole time. You know? You don't see him moving around. Such great heat on his punches. Butterbean's doing well here with that two punch combination. He's coming at us, just marching forward. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Seems like. An eternity since we dropped him. Inability to get away from his opponent's right hand is costing him. He continues to pull straight back, and he's still in the path of the punch. Let's push him back. Keep your hands up. Nice. How's Butterbean have so much energy still? Seventh round. Oh. Oh, good little uh, moment right there. Let's see. Oh, Liddell's up. Liddell is up. That seems pretty obvious. Worse than that, though, I don't think he can stay in there. I don't think he's got what it takes to mount a comeback. Unless he suddenly realizes what a fighter is supposed to be all about. That's what it is. What is a fighter? A guy that throws jabs? A guy that throws right hands? Gotta keep on moving around, I know. No, what you're saying, overcome. engage. I don't think that's the way. best strategy. You gotta find that way now. Chuck's got to be careful. Oh, 
really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Uh -oh. Combination to the head. How is Butterbean? Got the juice. This is incredible. What a great job, man. This guy. Chuck showing his heart. This is like when he fought uh, Quentin Rampage Jackson in Pride. He was tired. Iceman's defense is paying off now. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. He's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round since he's not taking a lot of punishment. Butterbean still throwing punches. Butterbean's landed a good, solid combination. And Chuck... I don't know if Chuck's going to have enough. No, I don't think he's going to have enough. Got to just block, man. Oh, Chuck. This is crazy. Off with a combination up top. Butterbean with the endless gas tank. His gas tank is something to respect. And the Iceman just trying to get to the end of the round. Oh, good little. Good shot right there. Chuck just got to survive. Keep him missing and he'll gas out. I don't know if I can. Walk forward and pick your shots. Man, walking forward I think is bad news for me. It's bad news for sure. Here we go. Oh, Chuck. Thank you very much for the sub, my friend. Whatever happens, man, you got to give all the respect to this high thou. Using Butterbean and showcasing that it ain't about the stats, it's about the skill. And He's doing amazing. Butterbean still looks fresh. Butterbean still looks fresh. His opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Blocking a score. Chuck's a pillow fighter. Throwing those pillows at Butterbean. Well, now he's starting to show. Oh, no way. Somebody. Oh, thank you very much. Somebody joined as a member, man. That's too cool. And I can't. Oh, look at him now. Now, Butterbean. It's like a Space Jam. The Monstars stole this guy's skill. The monsters came in the ring and stole Butterbean's endless gas tank. That is so insane. Keep working the body. Butterbean's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Wow, look at him now. I don't know if anybody watched uh, Space Jam. I didn't see two. I saw one. But the Monstars came in and stole everybody's skills.
This is crazy. And Hyde out. He's doing a great job at masking his stamina. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but oh. what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze. Oh no! Oh no! And now we go down! What is going on? Let's check out the member. Thank you so much. Mostly anxious. And that's what I'm feeling right now. Is completely anxious. We gotta take the A count. We gotta take the A count. Butterbean. As a zombie coming in. Taking my soul. Alright. I gotta have some bubbly right here. Yeah, every which way, and especially the most important way, I think, is that the fight is in. I need to survive. It's a fast paced fight, it's an outside fight. These fights have just been nuts. Butterbean. I gotta just. I gotta. I gotta survive, man. I gotta survive. Big Daddy Butterbean. He's got he's got some juice now. And you see how he just set the table for that right hand after the jab. Man, he just... My shots are doing nothing to him. Chuck's touching him, but he's got nothing in it. Nothing on the punches. This is crazy. Chuck going with the ones and twos. Did nothing to him. This guy is the greatest... Butterbean boxer I've ever seen in my life. Chuck's touching him. Doesn't matter. Unable to score with the hook. And that was again Chuck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Thank you for the sub, my friend. We're in a battle. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 We got to be careful with these sloppy punches. Oh. Oh, finally the big man goes down. Finally the big man goes down. Oh. And the cam girls are going nuts in the chat. <laughs> this is nuts. This guy's gonna get up again. This guy, Jeremy. What's up, Jeremy? Thanks, brother. He's getting up again. Yes, he got up, but he looks like he is on a shaky foundation. Oh man. I gotta survive. How is this guy coming at me still? Something for his opponent after getting tagged. <laughs> Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Oh man. <laughs> we kind of had to, easy fight to score from run away from him and not engage. It's just I'm not that type of guy to get in there and bang it out with him. 
I wouldn't have uh, been successful, but we managed to squeak out the victory. It wasn't, it wasn't easy. I got to tell you that it wasn't easy. Look at this. We had a 10-7 round in the third. We thought everything was going to be smooth sailing. And then Hi Thou just showcased unbelievable heart, tremendous skill to just stay in there throwing those two and three piece shots. And it was like, holy smokes, man. I had no gas in the tank from round five on. Really had to be so careful. And um, the webcam girls gave me my blessing. Thanks, BA. But I would say, Crystal, I would say that was a draw, man. I can't, I, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that was a draw. We got the W. I got the win, but you were the better boxer. How does that sound, man? How does that sound? We got the win, but you were the better boxer. Alex Ortiz, <laughs> he said next time do it 11 rounds. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that, but... What a fight. My name's Chase in real life. Oh, on my mom's account. No problem, Chase. Chase, I gotta say... Man, much, much love to you, man. For hanging in there. Anybody else, Chase, would have just given up after that third round, but you powered through it. You battled back. And, uh... I'm telling you, man. You almost had me. You almost had me. And if it went later on with those zombie-like butterbean punches, I think you would have had me later on. And let me just say this. You picked a guy that was 74 overall. I picked a guy that was 83, and I barely got by. Next time, don't be too kind, Chase. Pick somebody that's, you know, relatively in the same overall mark as the fighter I pick and I'm telling you you're gonna get your hand raised man you're gonna get your hand raised for sure GG's to Chase said that is crazy crazy stuff good fight man good fight and look at this D-Max says good fight Ricky here's something for you for the awesome live fights with the Are subs it's from everyone here. Share the poutine with your loving kids and wife. From my family to you in Utah. Dude, you didn't have to do that, man. You're just way too kind. I really appreciate that. And tomorrow, I'm going to tell you, D-Mac, I'm going to buy that poutine. I'm definitely going to do it because it's Saturday. And like I said, that's the time to do the cheat meals. I was gonna, I was going to say time to cheat, but I shouldn't say that too loud. Cheat meals. You know what I'm saying. But D-Mac, appreciate it, man. <laughs> Ricky, let me be your coach because I can't fight you. RJ, you got to fix it up so we could do it next time, man. Holy cow. I'm still blown away by Chase. How old's Chase? Chase, how old are you? I'm still blown away by Chase's ability to stay in there and fight back like that. Holy cow, man. Blown away. The Metal Knight says, heading out now, watching Friday Night Smackdown. Thanks for the fun stream, Ricky. You have a good rest. Thank you so much, Metal Knight. Or shall I say, Metal Knight, thank you, and may you have a good rest. <laughs> when are you going to finish WWE Career Mode? You're killing me. Fat Billy, I already recorded one, and I'm going to drop it uh, probably in the next couple of days for sure. I want to do like two a week. I want to do two a week. Garza says, I just want to fight. Well, I guess not my day. RIP. I'll be unbanned by next Friday. RJ, tell us how you got banned, man. What did you do? What did this man do? Jeremy says, give us another fight. I got only one to watch this one fight. Uh, I don't know, brother. I'm looking at the time, 11.42. Please, I want to go. Chase, thanks for taking my spot in the game. <laughs> I know, he came in late. <laughs> he came in late and took your spot. That is crazy. That's how it goes sometimes, man. You come in late, drop the name. Um, Chase, I'm 19 and have my first real boxing match Sunday. Dude, 
I would love to know how it goes. Let me know how it goes. Please um, send me a message either on Twitter or through email. I'd love to see how it goes. It's on Street Beefs. Are you serious? You got to send me the link. I will watch it live and cheer for you, Chase. I am not kidding you. What's your uh, what's your name on there? What's your name on there? Let the dude coach you for your fight versus me, Zaddy. Oh man, Street Beats official. We're all. I'm all. I'm gonna watch that. But what's your um, name? Because you know that you guys go by all these cool names. Ali Fantasy YouTube something? What? I haven't figured out one yet. Maybe you can pick one. Okay, let's all think of a name for Chase for his fight. Man, I gotta think of something. You can name it after your mom, the Crystal Ball. Uh, love how much respect you have for your opponents. Have a good weekend. Thanks, Bill. And I see you in the comments, Bill. Thank you so much uh, for your engagement in my videos, man. I really appreciate that. Did I win? Yeah, can you believe it, Ego? I finally won. Dude, Chase, you got to give us the link. Yeah, I want to... If we all go in there and watch the fight, that would be awesome. Uh, Butterbean? That's so funny. Chase the Chopper. But yeah, um, is it going to be on live streamed? I will definitely go and watch. And if it's not, I will watch the video, make a comment, and um, just show all my respect for you, man. No, not again. How do these girls get back? How do these girls get back? Oh my gosh. I don't understand how these girls are coming by and I've seen them on other live streams they're taking over these streams get out of here oh my god it's actually quite funny though a lot of us uh, get a chuckle when they come on here but it is annoying <laughs> uh, Mateo Garza says me RJ and Ali are crying of jealousy don't worry boys man we're gonna get you on in a fight, Elijah says you have fans. Those are the wrong fans, Elijah Cordova. You know that. Ricky, I called someone. Oh, for taking the bounty on my head in Red Dead Redemption Online. They banned you for a week. What is that? RJ, I told you. Listen, I'll share something with you, man. Um, I got banned from PlayStation because I used to play MLB The Show Online. And I was really good at the game. And this was before they had the mercy rule. And I was beating a guy like 10 nothing. It's baseball, by the way. In like the first inning. So the guy lost his mind. And instead of quitting out, he started uh, walking all my batters. And then he sent me a message. He's like, I'm going to do this all night long. So anyway. So I'm like, I'm not going to quit. So I went out with my buddies came home at like 3 in the morning and remember the game started at like 7 p.m. came home at 3 in the morning and the guy was still walking all my batters and the score was like 1,000 to nothing all right so then I ended up going to sleep kept my PlayStation 2 on or was it PlayStation 3 it was PlayStation 3 kept the PlayStation 3 on and the guy was still doing it and then something happened in the middle of the night where the guy lost connection so it was his quit, but then it came out as an official score of me winning, get this, 3,088 to nothing. So MLB and PlayStation, they saw that number and they banned me for two weeks. And I'm like, check the tape, man. You should have banned the guy that was walking all my batters for like 20 hours. And I'm the guy that got banned. So I couldn't play online for two weeks, RJ, because the guy was walking all my batters. It was horrible. It was horrible. But it was cool. When I went to my profile after I got unbanned, it said, how many runs do you score a game? And usually people score like five or six runs. You know, you may have a guy that's really good at the game that scores like eight runs a game. And then you looked at my <laughs> profile 
is Ricky Tortellini, who scores 3,000 and something runs a game. And I get so many hate mails saying I'm a hacker, and I'm like trying to defend myself. It was brutal. Now when I play MLB The Show, I don't venture online, or I just play my buddies like JG's or, or other guys I know. Um, but I don't venture online because of that one moment. That one dude, wherever you are, destroyed my experience playing MLB The Show online. I only play offline now. Oh, man. Ricky, you're getting enough people boxing in here that you should do a list instead of a raffle type wheel. Caleb, maybe we'll do that. I'm thinking what we're going to do for next week. I'm always up for switching things up. Um, Cushman. Where's Cushman? I don't know where you are. But um, I'm thinking of making a list. Like on the fly. Because there's guys like Mateo Garza. RJ, Muhammad Ali, Cushman hiccups that have been waiting to get the game on. So maybe we'll do a list. We'll see. I'll think about it. Yeah, run a subscriber tournament. But it just, I was thinking about it, and it would just be so hard, like, to get all you guys to send me the links. You guys have to be able to stream the fight, right? Winner fights me. I mean, everyone can come to the event. Probably there's already going to be an audience. So that's cool, man. But what I'm going to do is I'm really going to try to figure out my Discord. And then I'm going to send you guys my Discord link. And we could talk about it in the Discord chat, okay? I'm really going to... That's going to be my homework for the weekend is to figure out how to share the Discord link. And then we could just chat in the Discord and... Um, if you have an actual stream link, I'll say share it with me and then maybe we could put something together for next time, okay? So we are going to end off this stream. I want to thank you guys so much. We're looking at the wheel right here. The wheel was bonkers tonight. Everybody was on it. Oh no, not these girls again. I just said I'm going to end off the stream and then they come on and try to steal my thunder. But we're going to end off this stream. The wheel was incredible tonight, man. I want to thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to get that Discord up and running. We're going to chat. Maybe get that tournament up and going, all right? I want to thank you all for being here. And thank you to the people that donated. You didn't have to do that, man. <laughs> but I really, really appreciate it. And I appreciate... That's a lot of appreciates in a sentence. But your, your support on my channel, man. Your support coming on watching my videos really means the world to me man and i wish you all nothing but the best all right no more cam girls elijah thank you doug caleb eric alex will vector cushman rj mateo jason Krizzy, aaron have a great weekend and i'll catch you guys next week okay all the best to you and yours. Enjoy your weekend. You guys deserve it, man. You guys are an amazing group of people. And uh, don't take this the wrong way, but I love you guys so much. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. This is Ricky J, baby. Thanks again for the fun. And, um, man, hopefully, hopefully we'll get more people in some boxing action next time. All right? And maybe we'll get that tournament. But have a good one. I'm out of here. Thanks for the sub on the way out. Chief Louie, all the best to everybody. Take care. Peace and love.